Hey guys, it's Trippy. Welcome to the video. Hope you're all doing well. Today's video I may have to split into two, which is the first for the channel, just because of how much footage I got. Uh, the reason being is that myself and my girlfriend went to a place called Deer Park in Liscard, which is a holiday area with um, log cabins. So there's like log burners, hot tubs, it's, like really cosy feeling to it, and you're surrounded by woods on all sides. The original plan was supposed to be for our 10-year anniversary, which was back in May. We were going to go on a cruise to Norway, but because of the virus that was cancelled, so... I thought I'd go to Liscard because it's in Cornwall, and if there is another lockdown coming, which as of recording this, there's, due one, there's one due in two days, um, I thought if something does kick off the virus, we're only an hour away from home, so we can either just stay until it all chills out or just drive home. And it was definitely well worth the trip, uh, virus or not. If you're looking to do a staycation in Cornwall, if you're from Cornwall or not, um, I definitely recommend Deer Park. It's a great place to go. And obviously we are there for three days, whereas normally when I go out recording, I'm only there for the day or even like half a day. Um, so the video is about 10 or 15 minutes long, whereas because I've got so much footage to go through, um, I might do it by, by day, so like days one and two and then the final day, um, or just see how the editing goes really. But yeah, I'll crack on with the video now. Uh, the weather wasn't the best, as you'll probably tell already by the video, uh, what you're seeing now, but it did get better. Um, I was a bit afraid I wouldn't be able to get any recording done, but thankfully it actually turned out really nice. So yeah, a good trip. Hey guys, so we finally made it after a long old wait in the traffic. So I'll just give you a quick tour around what we got. There's a little bathroom in there. Got a, um, is it the twin room in here? But uh, we'll be upstairs. Oh, some more towels I'll use them. Lovely. Got a kitchen, fridge and freezer. I didn't even realize we was getting an oven. Microwave somewhere, hopefully there's a toaster here because I can't wait to get some toast in me. Um, this is a little sort of living room set up. It's got heaters, which I didn't realize, um, but also the log burner, which I can't wait to set up. We were supposed to get logs, but they're not there for some reason, so have to steal some from reception but out here this is our view if I just open this door so down there's the entrance where you come in it's got the view over the uh, the lake with the hot tub Lovely. big old trees remind me to cut onion woods I'll just quickly show you this view out here as well I'm going to close these curtains though because that's some um, other people's rooms cabins but I'll just quickly show you upstairs Ooh. so at least it's just gone to get some of the bags and help over the big old suitcases Ooh. here's the root bedroom with a oh lovely bathtub <laughs> I love the baths with this little um like the side tap but I think I'll be spending most of my time in the hot tub but yeah it's a ensuite bathroom very snazzy and then in here Another twin with a little uh, hobbit hole, which I guess we'll stash all our suitcase and stuff in there. But yeah, here for a few nights. Um, hopefully I'm gonna get a really cool drone shot if I don't get caught. I'll just go downstairs to show you what I mean. I'm gonna hopefully take off here and go whoo, out the door without hopefully smashing into a tree. But yeah, um, what are we doing tomorrow? Got a Halloween quiz tomorrow, because it's the 31st tomorrow, so gonna go down to the little it's a very small bar um there's only like a few areas really but um didn't come here to drink anyway so but yeah there's gonna be a, a quiz at the bar with a prize so I'll go down there just to do something a bit different and then hopefully go on some walks maybe a bike ride depending on the weather and see what's out in the area but yeah i'm in love with the view definitely a good call to come here i think so yeah it's not quite norway but a staycation still pretty damn cool yeah, very happy. So I'll turn off the camera now, I'll help uh, Lisa with the bags. <laughs> and uh, I'll catch you later on. Cheers. I couldn't fly the drone for long just because I was getting absolutely soaking, but I did manage to get the fire going in the end. And this is the weather that greeted us the following morning.
Unfortunately, by the time we'd finished our breakfast, the weather let off a little bit, so we could go out on our first walk. Um, I didn't see quite as much wildlife as I was expecting, because it's meant to be quite rich in what you can see there, but I think we just got the wrong time of year. We saw a couple of squirrels and a few ducks, but I was expecting more, but I'm not going to complain about not seeing <laughs> too many animals. It's just one of those things you're either lucky or you're not. So I think the yellow walk is one that's not too bad. Almost two miles. And then the red one. Oh, this is a mile, but I thought one of them was like. That's the harder one. Oh, okay. I thought red was sort of like danger. But... We stumbled across a path that was actually off the main path that led deeper into the woods. Um, I have no idea where it was going, but I just wanted to follow it for a bit. But after about 10 or 15 minutes, we started to realise, like, <laughs> we don't actually know. We stayed on the path, so we weren't lost, but we thought, like, we're not actually sure if this path's ever going to end. We've been lost out here for 17 days. Sasquatch is right behind us. I've stepped in this poop twice. <laughs> no? Captain's log. Lost in the wilderness. Sausage rolls repeating on me. Oh god. Yeah, the terrain is definitely getting worse, isn't it? Yeah. I just see us on the. I it just looks like it might curve up that way. If it goes that way, it might be a better path. If not, we'll turn back. There's like skid prints there, so someone's definitely been here. What is that? It's like an old shelter. Eventually we decided to backtrack to the path that we originally started on and we didn't realise the whole time we were in the woods the weather was actually getting better so the sun was almost out by this point. Right, I don't know how well this is going to work. We've got better weather today um, in the spirit of Halloween they've given us a pumpkin so I'm gonna try my best to carve it I got an idea in mind um, it's probably not gonna come up too well but I'll do a little time lapse and see how we get on Okay, I don't know if anyone can guess what that's meant to be. <laughs> it's supposed to be the new Joker, and he's got his little triangle makeup above his eyes, and then his little snodge. And uh, yeah, didn't do a bad job on the mouth, I don't think, but the rest is kind of <laughs> not the best. But there we go, never mind. 
So after my failed attempt at carving the pumpkin, we wait, just hung around in the hot tub for a bit and then headed down to the Halloween quiz. I'm pleased to say we came third place, but unfortunately it was out of three teams, so last place, but never mind. It was a really good night, the staff were really friendly and funny. Um, the other teams were like welcoming and funny as well. Um, it was like we'd all known each other for ages kind of thing. Um, so really good night, and that was the end of day two. Um, it's looking like time-wise, that's about 10 minutes into the video, so I'm going to just include everything into one. I think I said at the start of the video it would be two videos, but um, I try not to mumble on too much because I'm wasting more time. But I'm going to squeeze everything into one video, I think. So we're on day three. We're going for the yellow route, which is... What, how many miles is it? Like this, two, is it? One. Oh, it's one mile, but apparently this is the more sort of treacherous course, so... I've just seen a mountain biker go up that way, so this path might not last long, but... Should hopefully be good some uh, good for some drone footage. Looks like someone's had a fire here. What'd you think? A little seat. Oh yeah, there's a little tent right in front of me. How'd I walk past that? Camouflage. See, it looks really cool, but I bet this is real freaky at night. All little critters and all running around. and then easily scared. <laughs> so as we were reaching the end of this walk, it was also almost the end of our trip. We had the evening to ourselves again, just spending time in the hot tub and ordered takeaway in. And we had to leave by nine o'clock the next morning. So yeah, it was a really, really good time. I enjoyed the break. My only complaint about the actual lodge, not that this is like a review of the area, was the bed and the server was really uncomfortable. So I'm back home and rather being like rested and relaxed, I'm relaxed but my back hurts <laughs> but yeah I, i'm sure i'll get over that it was still a really really good trip um hopefully the video shows what an amazing area it is if you guys are thinking of visiting even if you don't um stay i'm sure you could probably drive down there and park up somewhere and have a walk around because i think we visited two of the woods but altogether there's about six or seven i think according to the map so we barely scratched the surface and we had like three days so you could easily spend a week there exploring around um, but what I might do is put all the drone shots together in a separate video um, without me yapping um, just in case people are interested in that um, and that will be the second video rather than splitting this one into two um, but regardless if I do that or not I hope you guys have enjoyed this video um, thank you as always for watching I'm always keen to hear your comments uh, or read your comments I should say and hear any suggestions you have for places to visit in the future and like I said earlier on I think the lockdown is starting in two or three days I hope everyone stays safe stay well and yeah, I'll get the next video out as soon as I can, but obviously if it's locked down, I might not be allowed to go out and record things, so it could be a while yet, but we'll see how it goes. So yeah, thanks again guys, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers!